when that guy came in, what did he take? Did you see the gun? And I saw his daddy was wiping it in our face, and we all did what he wanted, and he still shot us. In 2014, this man, Jason Holt, pleaded guilty to two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of attempted murder in a pharmacy robbery and shooting in Granger County. The day of the shooting, the local DA said Holt, quote, robbed the pharmacy of a large quantity of pills. An inmate at Jefferson County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. This phone call was made between the time of the shooting and the day Jason Holt pleaded guilty. You know what you say, Mom, and I mean it with my heart. I beg for help and beg for it, and nobody listened to me. And now you see what's happening. Six years after the shooting, Jan Clift is telling her story. She says the reason she's talking about what she survived, she wants to see change. She wants more resources to treat addiction in rural areas of Tennessee so that maybe other people won't have to live through what she did. The uh, Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services has, has really ramped up the level of support services that are available to rural counties. We went to Cadis in Chattanooga, an alcohol and drug treatment center, to talk to Executive Director Paul Fuchkar. He says there are treatment services in all 95 counties in Tennessee, and there are more than 20 nonprofit residential programs in the state like Cadis that offer services regardless of your ability to pay. He also says no matter where you live in Tennessee, you can get treatment at Cadis, but there is more that needs to be done. We estimate that probably two out of 10 people in Tennessee that need treatment get it. So that leaves eight out of 10 that don't. Fuchgar says some of that includes people who need treatment but don't realize it yet. But he also says there's a need for more resources to treat addiction in the state. But there's a lot of folks that are seeking treatment that there's just not enough beds around the state. 